A conspiracy theorist has been ordered to pay nearly a billion dollars for making false claims about the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. AP correspondent Mike Hempen reports. A jury has decided that Alex Jones should pay $965 million to people who suffered from his false claim that the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting was a hoax. This is the second big judgment against the InfoWars host over his promotion of the lie that the 2012 massacre never happened. A Texas jury in August awarded nearly $50 million to the parents of another slain child. The Connecticut trial featured tearful testimony from parents and siblings of the victims who told how they were threatened and harassed for years by people who believed the lies told on Jones' show. I'm Mike Hempen. Former U.S. President Donald Trump will have to sit for a deposition next week in a defamation lawsuit filed by a writer who says he raped her in the mid-1990s. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. The judge's ruling rejects a request by former President Trump's lawyers that the planned testimony be delayed. The deposition is now scheduled for October 19th. The decision came in a lawsuit brought by E. Jean Carroll, a longtime advice columnist who says Trump raped her in a Manhattan department store's dressing room. Trump has denied it. His lawyer says we look forward to establishing on the record that this case is and always has been entirely without merit. Carol is scheduled to be deposed Friday. Julie Walker, New York. U.S. President Joe Biden traveled to the Midwest U.S. state of Colorado Wednesday at the start of a three-state swing through the American West. He's out to promote his record with less than a month to go before the crucial midterm elections. North Korea test-fired a pair of strategic long-range cruise missiles Wednesday, state media reported, in the latest of a flurry of drills to highlight its tactical nuclear capability. The Korean Central News Agency said leader Kim Jong-un oversaw on the spot this test-firing of the missiles that traveled 2,000 kilometers or 1,240 miles over the sea. They say he expressed great satisfaction. Ukraine state nuclear operator says Russian missiles attack, missile attacks caused a crippled nuclear plant to lose all external power for the second time in five days. The operator reported the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant suffered a blackout Wednesday morning when a missile damaged a distant electrical substation. The power was restored about eight hours later, but experts say such interruptions increase the risk of a radiation disaster because electricity is needed to cool the nuclear reactors. Air raid sirens have been heard in Kiev for a third consecutive day as officials advise citizens to stock up on water and conserve energy. The AP's Charles de la Desma has more. Despite the ongoing threat, some residents are out visiting St. Michael's Golden Domed Monastery to pray as well as visiting a monument wall for the country's fallen soldiers. Dentist Vanayamin Kofanov says he's worried about Russia destroying Ukraine's infrastructure, but he's not afraid they'll use nuclear weaponry. I'm not scared about nuclear weapon. I don't think that they are going to use it. Strikes on Monday hit near the government quarter in the capital's symbolic heart, where Parliament and other major landmarks are located. I'm Charles de la Desma. Russian President Vladimir Putin must return to the table to discuss making peace in Ukraine, French President Emmanuel Macron said Wednesday, adding that he thought Kyiv eventually would have to negotiate with Putin. When reminded that Ukraine no longer wanted to negotiate with him, Macron said at some point it will be necessary. Thirteen people, mostly fighters, have been killed in two days of ongoing clashes between rival factions competing for power in northwest Syria, a war monitor said Wednesday. Fighting between two pro-Turkish Syrian rebel groups began in the town of Al-Bab in northern Aleppo province before spreading to other areas and drawing in other factions, the British-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said. And recapping our top story, a conspiracy theorist has been ordered to pay $965 million for making false claims about the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.